President Eisenhower seemed the picture of health in these films made in Denver just before his sudden heart attack. Nearing the end of his work and play vacation, the President appeared rested, refreshed, and in unusually good spirits. Stricken at the Lafayette Street home of Mrs. Eisenhower's mother, the President was helped into a car in the early morning hours, rushed along the street to the Fitzsimmons Army Hospital, and placed in an oxygen tent in an eighth floor suite. Meanwhile, leaving Washington for Denver were Press Secretary James Haggerty and Colonel Thomas Mattingly, a heart specialist from Walter Reed Army Hospital. In the Denver church where he worshiped, in churches and synagogues all across a shocked nation, Americans of many faiths and many creeds united in one prayer, a speedy and full recovery for their president. Though the heart attack was not severe, the fear of complications weighed on the hearts and minds of the people. Leading the churchgoers in Washington was Vice President Nixon, facing grave new burdens in the fateful days ahead, pledging a continuance of Ike's program. Summoned to the hospital for an emergency consultation, a famed Boston heart specialist, Dr. Paul Dudley White, declared prospects were reasonably good for the president's complete recovery. Also arriving was Major John Eisenhower, staying in a room across the hall from his father. An anxious vigil as America waited and prayed and hoped.